All right, outside today, some tough heat as we welcome August. But first, let's review July. It was an interesting seventh month of our 2024. You know, because it was just a few degrees cooler. We did rob old summer from some heat. Look, here's the high, the average high this July, 94. In fact, eight of our 31 July days were in the 80s. Rainfall was nice, four and a quarter, and that's nearly two inches above average. And then compare and contrast to 2023's July. Last July, 100 the average and the rainfall was under a quarter of an inch. So we'll definitely take the 2024 July. All right, we start August with the haze. It's kind of lingering as we overlook 410 I-10s interchange into our beautiful downtown. The thermometer is showing us 95, but it feels like 101. Make sure you're hydrating. These winds are only at seven miles per hour today. That's really keeping that Saharan dust in place. We're gonna expect it to thin out tomorrow. That's the good news. It'll stick around the coast a little bit, but. But the only city with moderate to, I'm sorry, uh, unhealthy for sensitive groups is San Antonio. Moderate in Austin, moderate Laredo, good air quality Victoria, moderate in Corpus Christi, San Antonio, Houston, unhealthy for sensitive groups. And hopefully that improves by tomorrow. But today, because of the dust, tomorrow and Saturday because of the heat weather impact alert days. Make sure you're limiting your time outside between say 2 and 7 p.m. when we're in the heat of the day. Hey, speaking of this dust, don't forget that we still get spectacular sunsets out of the dust. Take a pic. Send it to 366-0020. You can just text it. That's going to be easy. Or just share it on the Ken's 5 app. We will show the good ones, the winners on 10, on Ken's 5 News at 10. I always want to say Eyewitness News at 10, but we're not supposed to say Eyewitness anymore. So Ken's 5 News at 10, we're going to show you some of those pictures. 97 at Lackland, 95 at Randolph, and here in San Antonio. Not bad in Bernie, 90, but look at that, a pair of nines at Hondo where it feels like 100. So that's not a big difference, right? The feels like is 103 Gonzalez. These are all down from yesterday. Eagle Pass, one of the higher ones at 107. Please, with this heat in place, remember Project Cool. You drop off a brand new box fan to any San Antonio fire station. If you need a fan, call the United Way helpline at 211. Two to the tropics, we've now got Invest 97L. It's moving just north of San Juan, Puerto Rico. The poorly defined center, we'll call it, is going to be trying to get its legs under it, moving west-northwest at 21 miles per hour. Winds are at about 30 miles per hour. And easy early progs take this north of Cuba, probably not going to affect the Gulf of Mexico. All right. 14 day forecast and we've got some weather impact alert days. It's because of the heat tomorrow. Heat index could be between 103 and 107. Same on Saturday as our high hits 101. So please make sure you're hydrating. Make sure you're taking extra precautions if you're going to be outside for any length of time, especially at the soccer games on Saturday. Then 100 on Sunday, Monday 97. We're bringing in just a 20% chance of a sea breeze shower. You can see the second set of seven days. We've got a 14-day forecast that is going to stay dry and hot.